Welcome to another edition of Insta Chat with the Journalist. I'm Andile, aka the Journalist DJ, and my guest today is a guy called Chronicle Deep. You know, Chronicle Deep is a guy from Kwa Kwa in the Free State, but you know his music has reached the masses all over the world. He makes this really, really, really dope. Um, deep house sound. I don't know if I should call it deep, but you know, it's just um, that house music that just takes you on a journey, you know? And, uh, you know, he's got a, his, his profile is quite amazing. Uh, he's the former member of uh, the Godfather's SA, you know, but now he is a one man army. Uh, and yeah, man, you know, I'm just looking forward to having the conversation with him, um, getting to understand his journey as a producer uh, slash DJ, he's versatile as well, you know. Uh, he just doesn't produce house music only. He's also a producer for like, you know, R&B and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, you know, looking forward to chatting to Chronicle Deep. Uh, please be advised that, you know, the network might, might not be the best because uh, he's experiencing some... Um... So... But yeah, let's hope for the best, you know, here in South, in South Africa, in South Africa, as the, as the cool kids call it. We always have some um, load shading, you know, where the power goes off. And, but yeah, we're hoping for the best. Brother, thank you so are much you? for the time. Are you, are you, how's it, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? I'm great, my brother. I'm great. Great. Chronicle deep, you know, you're very respected in the game. Um, you know, you, you are like your favorite DJ's favorite DJ, you know what I mean? <laughs> Chronicle Deep, your name says it, you know, you're, you're, you're a deep guy, your sound is deep. But for those that might not know, bro, like, you know, your sound, you know, how, yeah, yeah, how, how yeah. did you get into the, in, into the music business? How did I start it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. it started way back in uh, 2008. It started way to 2008. Um, I had a friend. I had a friend of mine who was a music producer. And uh, mm -hmm. due to his time, he couldn't help me to get to, to understand how music starts and how I can, you know, like produce, uh, DJ, yeah. you know, those those type of things. So I was like, no, let me just get myself a laptop or a PC, anything that I can get my hands on. And then um, I started producing in 2008. Yeah, mm. 2008. And um, yeah, that's how it started. It started with Fruity Loop 6, yeah. Because my PC mm. was a bit slow, so it wanted a, a lower version most of the time. So mm. I started with um, mm. Fruit Loop Seeds. That's how I started producing and teaching myself how to to produce, listen to other music, and then go back mm. and interpret it. You know, like yeah, that's how it started. Mm. Wow! So, so you are self-taught. Uh, you taught yourself how to play using Fruity Loops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, because. So, like I said, yeah. he, 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 my friend didn't have time to, like, teach me. Man, man, this is how it goes. This is how it goes. This is where you put this. This is where you put it there. I was like, no, let me just teach myself. Let me just give myself time and teach myself. And then I'm here. Mm. And, and roughly how long did it take you? to learn how to produce, you know, with Fruity Loops up until you got to a point where you were like, okay, cool. Now my stuff is good enough to release. Like how long did it take you to, how long was the process? I think I was, it was uh, two years, it was two years. Because hence I said, I started in 20, 2008, 2008, mm. nine, 10, yeah, 10. That's where I um. That's where my music was growing. That's where I. That was a year I I um. I grew musically, 
and then we formed a group called um, Sons of Soul. Sons of Soul it was me and Blistic Soul, a guy from um, KZN. Mm. So he said uh, we should like re release music, the one that he feels is okay. And because we were a group, he released mm. only my songs. That's why I saw, oh, okay, I'm getting someone. I'm growing. I'm growing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's interesting, bro. And, you know, you collaborated with, 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 with a guy from KZN, but you're, you're from Free State, ne? How's, yeah. the, how's the music culture like in, in Free State? Oh, the thing is, uh, I moved. I'm, I'm originally from... Um, from Free State, Kwaku, Kutek Chab. Mm -hmm. I'm originally mm -hmm. from there, but I moved from Kwaku to Johannesburg. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Johannesburg. In mm -hmm. 2005, I moved from one place to another. That's where I settled here. This is where I settled in Johannesburg. Okay, uh, yeah, no, it makes sense because I was going to ask, you know. Your, your sound is a very urban feel, you know, so my, my follow-up question was going to be like, yo, in Free State, you know, do they get down like that also? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but you know... Yeah, no. Nah, I get your question, I get your question, my brother. Yeah, yeah, but you know, and you know, another thing that I wanted to, to know, right, you don't compromise when it comes to your music, right, whereby, you know, like South Africa, our industry is you know, every other year there's a new sound. People are always trying, you know, new things. So, but, you know, you don't compromise or have you compromised? Maybe I don't know. Like, in, in terms of your musical journey, have you always stuck to, like, your style or have you tried out different stuff? Okay. Yeah, I think I, I, I've never compromised my sound. Since I started making music, it has been tech ever since. But... Mm to get um, international feel and international um, audience, I need to up my game. I need to um, mm -hmm. explore, explore sounds, explore, you know. Hence, uh, this, this EP called uh, Fauna EP, it was released mm -hmm. in, in Kenya. It was released in Kenya, uh, it was 2019, mm -hmm. yeah. That song mm. brought me a lot of um, international, international people, international uh, people who like music, you know, from out of South Africa. So I can say, yeah, mm. I think I, I upgraded my sound so that I can also get, um, get people who are out there to actually know who is Chronicle D. Mm, mm. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, what I like about the, the stuff that you've been releasing, I think, uh, you know, last year especially, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's a very international sound. It even got you, um, you know, a, a brand to kind of like, you know, endorse um, your song, you know, on an advert. Yeah, yeah, uh, can yeah, you, can yeah. you tell us about that? How did that come about? <laughs> it's a funny story because, uh, you know, when you go through posts every time people tag you, you know, they tag you, they tag you, they tag you. So one time I see a tag from um, somebody on Facebook and they're like, yo, this is Chronicle D, your sound. Listen to it. It's on a Tweezer, Tweezer account. I'm like, what? Let me go and check. And I see it's Neo. The, 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 the EP I, I took out in 2019 uh, endorsement with mm. uh, Twiza in 2019. That was a song mm. released in 2019. And in 2020, mm. I, got a, I got a deal from them. So I, I, I took my, um, my agency to go and speak to them. Mm. To, to sort out the deal so that I can confirm that yes, this is uh, uh, I gave permission for them to 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 like play it as a background tag the track. 
Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, well done, man. Well done, you know, because uh you know, it's in a we live in a country where you know, uh, brands normally want to mess with what's trending right now instead of, you know, guys that are pushing like, you know, the 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 deeper the deeper stuff, you know. So yeah, yeah. you are very respected in the game. I want to know who do you respect? Which other people that you need to respect? Who respect me? Like, yeah. Nobody respect me. No one, no one, no one. Uh, on my side, I don't know, but I respect my brother, my fellow brothers. Edward, my fellow brother Edward, like that boy is a musical genius. Mm. That brother of mine is a musical genius and I met him through um Walter in 20 was it 2016 yeah it was 2016 and I remember because I was still um I was still cooking a uh, nail I was still cooking nail the song that is uh, big right now mm. I was still cooking nail and then mm. after that I got to to meet uh, um Walter on social media i got to meet walter and then walter mm. introduced me to uh edward that's how we got to know each other and to respect him right now mm yo yeah. okay and you know now is obviously like you know one of your biggest songs right now what was you know what inspired that song uh actually it's a long story but I'll cut it short it's um it's my friend the song was about my friend and at that time uh i heard that uh my friend is no longer there because mm. the time i remember i was i was about to visit uh free state i was about to visit free state and then um i got a call saying that hey my friend is gone and i was i was still mm. speaking to 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 that person like how you keep are you okay dog and stuff and stuff you know like and then i get a call saying that is they uh the person is no longer there you know mm. and then i got a little bit distracted i i got in, um distracted but i managed to to go in studio and finish it because i was still in the middle of it as we mm-hmm. as i got the call i was still in the middle of it so i managed to get the idea and to be honest i finished that track 2019 yeah i finished that track 2019 but i started it in 2016 wow Yeah. Then look man, you know, sorry for your loss, brother. Um nah, so nah. It, from from 2016 to 2019. So yeah. roughly how long does it take you on an average wise to finish one song? It depends. It depends the the kind of mood you are in. It depends. I'm not going to lie and say it take this this much. Uh uh-uh. I usually um finish a track in a day mix it and master it and it's done in a day wow so it depends and as i say it depends on the mood if the mm. mood says i yeah you're not going to finish this track i just leave it come back tomorrow go to go through it go through it and find out if i can find uh, other ideas and stuff you know and then mm. i go through it again if it doesn't if it doesn't like um uh, hit that much i still leave it i go to another one now uh, that I, i won't say uh, a specific a specific time or or day to finish a song it depends on the mood mm. yeah it mm. depends on the mood and and you know um uh, there's a song by you call i I hope I'm not I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, it's and it's, you know, it's a okay. beast right now. <laughs> EK. Yeah, EK. Oh, okay. You know, EK is is buzzing, man. It's buzzing on the streets right now. Um I have to ask, you know, what is the inspiration behind it? What does EK mean? Uh EK 
okay, it's a name. It's a name. It's a name of uh, one of the respected people in um, Kenya. The the person I I knew through um, I knew through my my dad, who is now no longer there. I met through him, and he taught me almost everything about um, the industry. You know how to handle it, and then I I decided to name it after him, so that the name will be there. People should know who's that person. You know, mm. yeah, it's the name of a person. Mm, mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, no, that's beautiful, man. You know, honoring someone through, 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 through your music. You know, through your craft. You yeah, know, yeah. my personal um, favorite song by you is "Lie to Me." You know, um, you know, it's <laughs> just that's the one that I that I enjoy the most. So I have to ask you, you know. Uh, you know what inspired that song? Because it's one of those songs that I listen to and I just repeat, repeat, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that song was in was inspired by um, was inspired by my friend from. Um, I hope I, I don't I don't want to pronounce that name because I know I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. It's mm. a friend of mine from Germany. Yeah, I met through mm. I met him through. Um, through social media, going in, uh, you know, this, in, uh, what you call, uh, SoundCloud. Yeah, SoundCloud. Oh, yeah. I, met him, I, met, I met him through SoundCloud. He shared one of my songs. And when I went to his, um, to his account and saw that this person is really good, I'm like, okay, dog, I have this song. Ne? This song needs what does it need what does it need mm. and he's like send me the song and then i'll listen to it at that time i only sent um i only sent uh 13 let me say 16 bar mm. loop yeah i sent 16 bar loop it's already um it's already it's already a track i can say it's already mm. a track and then i send it to him and then it's like oh just tweak here tweak here tweak here but something is missing. I don't know what it is. He didn't say also. He said something is missing. But on my head, I was like, oh, okay, there's a base. Base is missing. Let me go back, and then I will send it back to you. And then I went back. I opened my door. I'm like, okay, there's, a, there's this, this base I wanted to use before. You know, that base I wanted to use. And I'm like, okay, let me put this. Let me write it, and then send it back to him and then when i send it back mm. to him it's like that was missing that was mm. missing mm. so after that after send, uh, sending it to him i um i wrote the whole track i wrote the whole track i finished it i mastered it and um i sent it to kali kali maija mm. from uh botswana She's also Kenyan. Mm. Hey, I have something about Kenyan people. No? She's yeah. also from. Uh, she's half uh, half Kenyan. She's half Kenyan. Mm. So I sent it to her. And after sending it to her, in like a week, in a day, three three days, and then I got mm. it back. I fell in love with that track, and then I yeah. finished it. Yeah, I finished it. And also, I met uh, Kali through Lloyd BW. Yeah, that's the mm. guy that um, introduced me to Kali. Yeah, and yeah. and I, you've you've also worked with Kali on you know um, is it is it soulful music that you produce for her? What's that? Yeah, it's so, it's sort of a, yeah, it's sort of a soul, sort of a soul. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but those, uh, yeah. Hence, yeah. sorry, man. Sorry, but also I wanted to uh, put a little bit of my feeling. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I, I didn't want it to go strictly soulful. I wanted mm -hmm. to have a little bit of tech, a little bit of there, you know, like so that the track doesn't sit on soul and then it, it's a, 
when people want to name it and they say it's um it's it's soul food only soul food mm. yeah mm. yeah and you know that's yeah that's why you know you you your versatile you're a versatile producer as well for those yeah. that are asking um you know clinical deep uh, is experiencing load shading so there are no lights where he is guys you know so that's why it's getting dark and that's why the network is a bit shady yeah so okay just two more questions ne um right. be with you uh yam biatona with you know your remix um look that song is also a beast man how did that come about uh the track um i got it also from yatuna yeah i i had the original the original was a piano song i had the original and uh he came to me and then he asked me to to actually um do a remix for him mm So when I got the, the 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 vocals in my head I didn't want it to sound like everybody's remix. Mm. I wanted to do my own remix. I wanted to stand out. Mm. I wanted when people listen to it they be like who's that guy? Who's mm. that guy? So the inspiration also came through the the chords. I was busy writing the chords I was really writing the chords and then in my head I um I had a a lead I had a lead in my head through playing the chords I had the lead I'm like mm-hmm. how about this lead how about this lead why can't mm-hmm. I just I uh, just write this lead also one time you know so if you can listen to the track how uh, the lead started I wanted to 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 actually also the the lead to to stand out to start mm. as if like it's another track you know mm. so the inspiration came through the chords came through the vocals and the lead the lead sold it mm. so mm. yeah okay someone wants to know when are we getting lerato with kalimija <laughs> Uh that track is going to is going to be on my album. I'm going to drop an album uh December. Mm. If it's not December it's November, but I'm going to drop an album soon. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So so that's when the rat is going to drop. Okay, yeah no, thank you so much brother, you know, for making time even though there's load shading on your side and the network yeah, is not yeah. the best, but at least you know we could hear you. We appreciate your time. Uh next time, you know, it needs to be longer. I think let's talk when you drop your album, eh? Yeah? <laughs> no problem, my brother. All right, I know. Thank you. And for everybody that, that that's watching and that watched the interview, thank you so much. The interview will be available on my wall, so I'm going to post it after this. Chronicle Deep. Thank you so Thanks. much, sir. Thank you my brother. Shafsha. Awe.